All right, everybody, so I am going to start with uh, showing you some of the features that I'm working on. Um, well, this is actually the older machine, so I can start here. That's not an issue. The reason this is the older machine and I'm open to criticism and feedback uh, is this currently has a dual Y-axis. So here's one motor. There's the other motor. Um, this also has a single rail on the X gantry. Um, or x-axis sorry and the tube is designed to be in the back reflecting I don't have the second mirror or the first mirror sorry um, but there would be the first mirror potentially somewhere in this area um, and then there's the second mirror third mirror and so on and so forth so I'm gonna uh, so this is actually the more updated machine and this is from doing some research what I found is people said that it is much better to have a single y-axis um, with a rail that basically drives both um, gantries um, and so the way I have this done is I have a 3d printed part um, there's going to be a gear inside um, this is also going to be a 3d part 3d printed part with a gear uh, some bearings and then obviously there would be a gear on here and then yeah so um, the way it would work is there's you know there's a pulley down here um, the belt will run in the slot of the v-track attaching to the gantry here um, so yeah so one question obviously I'm curious about is it, has anybody had any issues doing two versus one um, if I were to do a single motor a single stepper this would be a NEMA 34 if I were to do two axis or sorry two motors um, it would be a NEMA two NEMA 23s um, I was looking at having dual um, in stops um, but it seems quite difficult to actually figure out a way to manage that the only way that I saw that would be possible is if I basically built a small um, you know micro stepper uh, microprocessor that would only trigger the well, I'm going to be using a cohesion 3d board but whether it's cohesion or Ruida um, there would be a, a microprocessor in the middle that would basically until both of them are triggered it wouldn't trigger that the Y stop so obviously that gets quite complicated and I definitely don't want to do that and so yeah that's that's one of the opinions or questions I have the other is about whether or not having the um, sorry about that the tube on the gantry for a machine this large now this is a 48 by 96 it's actually going to be a little bit larger just so that I have some room so it'll probably be like 49 by 97 um, so they'll you know have a half inch um, and so as this moves the distance from the power source the laser tube really doesn't change all that much um, now if this tube were in the back of the machine it would obviously be traveling somewhere between 96 plus 48 ish inches so pretty far um, so definitely open to suggestions um, an overview of the machine itself as well another feature that I'm oh no, did I hit the wrong button no so this is going to have um, four threaded rods attached to a, a two square tube this is going to be a really 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 high thread count so there's very little movement that can happen um, the way I plan to build this is this is actually going to be an MDF board and then this is also going to be the import or the insert and I'm going to bring it to a company that does CNC machining they're going to cut this out so I'll have basically this will be the bracket this will be the bed and the only thing I'm going to lose is a quarter inch material which that'll just be the thickness of the bit um, this I'm going to actually have them drill I don't know 100 200 holes um, that are probably 16th of an inch so that I can nail um, from the bottom side I'll put a bunch of nails um, and that would actually be the bed so that the, the work surface is whatever the length the nails are um, so uh, yeah so that's kind of how it's going to work this is all v slot um, you know i have some uh, pulleys here this is a custom bracket that i've built so that i can have both of these um, this will be a 20 by 60 this will be a 20 by 80 v slot and so there will be attachments on both sides 
Um, there will be a wide, uh, a little angle bracket to support the second mirror and the first mirror. This is also going to be a custom um, gantry plate. And then as far as cord management or cable management, sorry, my computer's super glitchy. Uh, this is actually going to be mounted to this plate. Maybe it'll do it with me. Yeah, there we go. So that'll be mounted there. Um, and then there will be another cable uh, cable cover here and you know everything will mount so when I send this to the CNC I'm actually going to have them mount the holes for the ammeter and the um, emergency stop and anything else will be all drilled out so this will all have the holes drilled all these will be drilled pre-drilled at least um, all the holes for the um, T slots they're going to go into the V slot um, or you know, whatever the nuts um, those are all going to be drilled into the wood so it's going to be extremely square and yeah so any opinions any feedback I guess the two big questions I have is is having the co2 tube it's going to probably be an 80 watt um, mounted I, I actually it has to be an 80 watt because that's the largest that, that this can hold um, so yeah, do you recommend the 80 watt laser tube attached the way I have it or is it okay in the back? One of the main reasons I also like it up front or attached, sorry, not up front, but attached to the gantry is this will be an open bed. So at least I could do some cover over this. That's one big benefit. And then the other big benefit is if somebody bumps it, the opportunity for things to get out of whack, a mirror to move are a lot less. Whereas if this was much further, um, there's a lot further travel. And so, yeah, uh, yeah, any opinion you have, please let me know. Thanks so much.